So you know what really bugs my mind? Like, like really, like kind of, it kind of freaks me out just a little bit, but not really. I mean, I'm a public figure, quote unquote, but it's, it's when I look at my analytics on YouTube, and I see how many people are searching for my name. And it's like the number one search option when it comes to like, you know, how people are finding me in, in my in my analytics. And so it's no wonder though, because like some of you guys know who I am and some of you don't. Um, but one thing I will tell you is that I've been in this fitness industry for a very long time. In fact, I started training back in 1997. Now, I don't want to date myself here, but um, like I was just basically like just starting college and like I had the opportunity to become a personal trainer. And I've been really super obsessed with fitness since I was a kid. Like I used to watch the fitness uh, competitions that came on ESPN late at night and I would wake up super early to watch all of those fitness shows and all that stuff. And that's what really inspired me to really learn about the body and learn how to exercise and how all of this stuff can really help you to hone your physique. So it's no wonder that here we are all of these years later and I'm still at it still passionate about what I do. I've helped over thousands of people around the world, and that's a crazy number, but really I've helped a lot of folks, men and women, all ages, to get into the best shapes of their lives. So needless to say, I've heard it all, I've seen it all, I've done it all. And today I wanna to talk about these crazy fads and fitness lies that are essentially just keeping you fat. And I say that, I know it sounds so crass, but when I really get down to the nitty gritty of, gritty of why, I'm saying that you're gonna understand because with the advent of social media, I mean, I saw this coming years ago and I started my online company back in 2009. And I just saw where the trajectory of training and fitness and everything was going in the future. And I got on that wave. And along came some others who were quite as innovative as well. And you know, uh, there aren't. They were people who started to do the fitness thing, but also start uh, hawking like fads and diets and teas and waist and all this stuff. Fitness lies, and they are just things that just like flood into the market and confuse you all. So today, I want to have a conversation about the fitness fads and lies that are keeping you fat dispel them and just give you a little bit more of a clear eye as to what you should be doing when it comes to getting the results that you want at the gym. But before we get into that, I want to welcome you here to my channel. Once again, if you are new here, my name is Roxy Beckles. Be sure to subscribe right now, this moment, and hit the bell notifications and set that to all notifications so that I, when I release new videos, go live, do premieres and all that stuff, you never ever miss a thing. Give this video a thumbs up right now if you wanna hear more content about how you can just do things fad free. Please, fad free, Roxy, right? Fad free when it comes to your training and nutrition. So if you wanna hear more content like this, give this video a thumbs up right now. And if you are a woman out there who is ready to take her training, nutrition, mindset, and everything to the next level, and you know you need a coach, I am looking to work with some new clients and I wanna take on about 10 new women over the next couple of weeks. So this might be your opportunity for us to work together. Stick around to the very end, I'll tell you how you can get that started. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've got these fads, honey, that I wanna talk about today. And there are four things, four things that usually we are seeing when it comes to the fitness industry that are driving me absolutely insane and that you know so many of you are doing in hopes of getting results. But here's the thing. You use these products, you do these things, and then what happens? You come back to square one. And a lot of times, not only are you coming back to square one, but whatever weight you lost or, or changes you saw, you gain more than that, right? It's like this yo-yo dieting thing. And it's really, really bad for your health. I did a video, um, a long live video that you guys really need to see if you're struggling with yo-yo dieting. And that is right here in the little circle eye thing at the top here. And I talked about yo-yo dieting and specifics, how they impact the um, obesity epidemic in black America with black women. 80% of us are overweight ladies, four out of five, not only overweight, but it's the overweight and obese. So we gotta change that, right? And so many of you are probably following these crazy fads. So let's talk about fad number one. Let's talk about the fitness lies number one that your favorite social media people, and I'm not gonna call any names that you know who they are, that they're telling you to do that doesn't work. The first one are the tummy teas. 
tummy tees. I get people asking me all the time, Roxy, do these tummy tees work? Like, I really want to lose my abs. I really want to see like a little bit of a six pack or something. And, you know, I saw this amazing tummy tee that so-and-so influencer is telling me to take. And they, 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 they look great. They have to work, right? No, they don't work. <laughs> okay. They don't work. Or if they do work, they work temporarily. Let, let's talk about this. So these diet teas, what are they exactly? These diet teas are essentially herbs and whatever else they want to put into these, these, the mix, proprietary mixes. And a lot of them just, they induce you to be able to go to the bathroom more, to pee more, or to do number two more, okay? So they're cleaning you out in that way. And even when it comes to these detoxes, like, what the hell is a detox, guys? Guys, your body is constantly detoxing itself. You have two organs. Actually, no, you have three major organs in your body. That's No, excuse me, you have four. Excuse me, four major organs in your body that's responsible for detoxing. Do you know what they are? Well, let me tell you what they are. The first thing is your liver. Next thing are your kidneys. The next thing is your skin. The next thing are your lungs. All of these organs expel toxins from your body. What the hell is a toxin anyway? Toxins aren't even real, guys. And I know that some of you out there are like getting so offended because I told you that your detoxes are crap, but they are. If you take care of yourself, if you drink water on a daily basis, if you are eating fruits and vegetables on a daily basis, if you are exercising on a daily basis, your body is constantly expelling the things out of you that it does not need. Now, the only things that I would say where you might get into a little bit of a hairy space or things are like, like um, if you're dealing with any kind of pathogens in your body or parasites and stuff like that, that's a whole other conversation. All right, and a lot of that you need medical help with, not just like some detox tea from your favorite Instagrammer, okay? So these tummy teas, these detoxes, a lot of it is not real. Now, why do you feel good after you take them or you use them? Well, of course, if you're eating crap all the time or you're not eating healthily or you're not eating enough or you're eating too much or you're not training, you're not doing all the things that you need, of course, it's going to feel better when you go on a freaking like diet tea extravaganza, okay? Where you're just drinking tea all day long. So be mindful because not only do you start drinking the tea or do the detox, but what do you do with the rest of your diet? You clean it up. Why can't you just clean it up and drink water, right? Why can't you just clean it up and be consistent? So think, 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 ladies. This is really important because people are in the industry getting rich off of your naivete and they expect you to do that. And I sometimes I can't even totally blame the Instagrammers or the influencers because they're the blind leading the blind. Half of them don't even know anything about the human body, nutrition or anything like that. They're just terrible. They're not even fitness professionals. They just look good. Okay, so just be mindful about that. The second thing, the waist trainers. Ooh, now you're talking to a woman who loves vintage clothing and styling, and I do own an actual corset. I have two Faha like waist trainers, and I use them to prep me to be able to wear an actual corset. But I use corsets as a means of fashion. You know, I'm not necessarily using it to try to get my organs rearranged and take my waist down. Okay, so these waist trainers, ladies, are not really doing what you think they are doing. If you want your waist to be smaller, you're going to have to diet, okay? That is just what it is. If you're trying to create a bee sting shape in your body, well, corsets can do that over time. Like, and I'm talking about boned corsets where you tie that baby up in the back and they're really like, you know, they're real corsets. They have a history of hundreds of years of women using them and actually changing their structure to see a tiny waist. But here's the thing, it's rearranging your organs and stuff like that as well. So then it's not necessarily a healthy thing to be doing, okay? So these waist trainers and all that stuff, yeah, they can make you look great while you have them on. If you're wearing them for shapewear to wear underneath your clothing, that's a whole different thing. But when you're trying to change your body because you think it's gonna make your waist look smaller, honey, wrong thing. Ah, da, da, da. X, 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 not it, honey. Okay, try something else. It's called diet, it's called training. And if you really want a permanent result, maybe you should try liposuction, but that's just the truth. I'm here for the truth. You're not gonna like it, but that's what it is. Let's talk about number three, fad diets. Okay, 
So everybody's got a new diet, right? You've got the paleo, you got the car low carb, you've got the this diet, the Mediterranean diet, the da 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 diet. And guys, here's a secret. It doesn't matter how you eat. It doesn't matter what you eat, okay? What matters is that you are in a caloric deficit. That that is the key to fat loss. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I think we're over now. Are we good? We're good. Okay, let me say it again, okay? Doesn't matter what fad diet you use. The important thing is that you are in a caloric deficit, and that's what leads to the fat loss that you want to see. Ladies, it's not rocket science. It's just science. And... I'm not going to say that you shouldn't follow these diets. I mean, listen, whatever it's going to take for you to actually get it together and get on the plan and be consistent and do it for a lifestyle, have at it. Do what you want. But don't think that just because you're going on the new diet of the week that it's this miracle thing that's going to get you the results. It's the caloric deficit and it's the discipline over time, which you can do without a special diet, that's going to get you the results. (laughs) <laughs> and let's talk about number four. Number four, the exercise lies. Okay, this is where those Instagrammers come back in or those fitness influencers come back in, okay? I can't tell you how many times I want to scream every time I see somebody talk about a 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 squat challenge or like these little fluffy workouts that do nothing or hours and hours of cardio as work- workouts. Like, Guys, it's easy to starve somebody to death and tell them to do a bunch of cardio in order to change the body, right? And most of these exercise lies and fads, like, you know, the high rep squat challenges and this and that, I mean, most of them are really good for those out there who are quite sedentary. If you're not working out and you don't do anything at all, yeah, get off your butt, do a thousand squats and keep doing them. And hopefully, you know, you're going to just be burning some extra calories throughout your day. You're going to be shaping up your legs to a greater degree than you would be if you were sitting on your butt all day. Yeah, those are great for those of you out there. And for those of you out there who already work out or you already have a background of training, that's not going to do anything for you. Okay, it's just not. So what can you do? Get consistent, get in the gym, lift weights, lift heavy, lift hard. You're not gonna turn into a man unless you are using steroids that we don't know about. So don't be afraid of it. Get out there, pick up the weight and just push yourself. Stay consistent, step outside of your comfort zone. And if you don't know how to do any of this, Hire a trainer, hire a coach, work with someone who can help you to get to the next level. You see ladies, You are so quick to put your money into these fads, into these empty promises, into these products that do nothing. But when it comes to you actually investing the time, the energy, and the money, and the focus into working with a professional, gosh, you have a freaking conniption, but you're expecting miracles. It doesn't work like that. If you want to get to the next level, you gotta have somebody there to push you there sometimes. And if you, if you are continuously finding yourself falling victim to these traps and then getting stuck and then getting frustrated, then you might want to do something differently. As I said earlier, this stuff, it isn't rocket science. It's just science. And there are many of us who have figured out the science, who have spent the money and the years and the hands-on time helping women just like you to get the results that you want. Tap into that. 